Adivinhe quem vem passar as férias com você. O menino maluquinho. Com a sua turma. Ninguém mais que tem surpresa. E um avô bem maluquinho. Deixa comigo. Menino Maluquinho 2. A aventura. Mistério. Suspense. Muita brincadeira. Muita surpresa. Confusão. Aventura. Agora vai arrebentar! E mágicas como você nunca viu. Menino Maluquinho 2. A aventura. Com Estênio Garcia, Samuel Costa e um amigo muito especial. Menino Maluquinho 2. Uma aventura mágica. A nova história do Ziraldo. Menino Maluquinho 2, a aventura. Nestas férias. On the most crowded island on earth, everybody wants something. Kinky sex with a blonde model? Is that what you'd like? Well, she wouldn't necessarily have to be a model. Joe. You're not working today? Yes, I'm working, and I have that audition with the casting director at three. Wants a real role. Who the hell do you think you are? Tom Cruise? Well, you're not. Mary. Every day it seems like everybody's just getting stupider and stupider. Hey, baby. Looking good today. Wants a real man. <laughs> Why don't you show me that sweet little cupcake ass of yours? Zahara. Am I gonna see you again? Wants a real life. I'll give you a call sometime. You don't have my number. And Bob just wants a real blonde. I didn't have one three pairs of underwear. I might have knocked over a light stand. <laughs> Lakeshore Entertainment presents. Do you think just once you can lift a toilet seat when you take a leak? A comedy about men and their obsessions. I am your therapist, Mary, but I am also a man. I've entertained sexual thoughts about you many times during our meetings. I think I better leave. Women. Madonna. And their confessions. You really thought it was her, didn't you? Sex. <laughs> and its attractions. See how it accentuates every part of her body? Compare that to men's underwear, which is essentially a diaper. What do you think that's saying? All men are babies. And love. That model I was with last night was like an animal. And its complications. Can you do this? Because if you can't, I gotta get on the phones and find somebody who can. Are you in a relationship? I, I don't think that she understands me in a real emotional or sexual way. Yeah. I sense that in you. The Real Blonde. Shortly high? Tom Castleman. What a gunner. Oh, yeah, hell, everybody knows you. And you're, uh, you're the, the photographer, right? Does your new friend make it a habit of going to bars in the middle of the afternoon? Go on here! Go on here! Go on here! I've always kind of been more of an outer-directed guy. I'm starting to become more inner-directed. Gonna learn Zen in Japan. Oh, that's not all I learned. Say so you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, right? Say... I don't know, peach pie. Oh, she is so girl. Maybe peach pie is great to you. Sure. But, but that's all you get? I really think he's on to something here. How am I supposed to look at it? 
I mean, morning, noon, and night, peach pie. That's not it. It's, it's something else. Something extra. Talk about art, huh? It's something else. Well, I was thinking maybe, you know, we could uh, get together sometime. Talk to you about some stuff. Marty has this friend who's apparently pretty hot to try. You're here. Yeah, I'm Sonny Burns, yeah. Sonny, Sonny Burns. We are chopping and tall cotton tonight, yeah. my man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lakeshore International presents... Perfect combination of sex and brains, everything. From director Mark Pellington. And then I'm going to bed with you. All right. Based on Dan Wakefield's best-selling novel. When you lie down with dogs. You come up with fleas. Jeremy Davies, Ben Affleck, Amy Locaine, Rachel Weisz, and Rose McGowan. In a story about the power of friendship. What would you study? Art. Art. Yeah, you know, I figured art. And the true meaning of freedom. <laughs> You're a turning point, son. That'll make the damn turn myself. Going all the way. license. I was operating on a patient and the patient died. Was it your fault? But yeah, you could say it was my fault. His lung is function. I need a clean knife and some clean towels. Get him up on the table. Sterilize that. I was so knocked out by what you did last night. I said, I gotta meet this guy. You gonna hurt me? Are you asking because you're afraid or because you want me to? I'm just trying to plan my day. I just love the idea of having a doctor around, don't we, baby? I am not a doctor. If I practice medicine, I go to jail. I'm giving you license. Leave me alone! FBI! What do you want? Your friend Ray. Is a killer. You want me to get Raymond for you? We use you to get the big fish. I don't even know why I'm here. You're dancing. Is that what I'm doing? Go on! When a doctor looks at a man who does not see good or evil. Give me my mask. All right. What am I going to do, though? No, I guess we just kill all of them. You still owe me. Cover all exits. This is a car chase. You think I'm criminal? I think you're about as much a criminal as I am a doctor. Guys, he's been dead for hours. Fix him. Now see what I can do.
What was that? Just cycling up the valves. They're powering up the reactor. How are you doing, Francis? Busy. I just need two plastic sandwich bags and like a cupful of uncooked rice. Please. The whole premise is completely flawed. No, uh, uh, no, no, Peter Peterson's study was based on that 20-year-old gobbledygook from the Swedish Institute. No, 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 those salinity numbers were suspect back in 1975. Anyway, listen, I'm bored with this conversation. I'm at the sub. I'm away. Bye-bye. Coming in, coming in, coming in. Coming for departure. Morning, Rick. The profile working yet? What? What? Is the profile working yet? Harry, do you want to come down here and try to hand solder a 64-pin serial interface connector while cramped in the space of a toaster oven? Do I interpret that as a no? Well, no. Get me off this boat. Where's Wilhelm? She's a little late. Captain Bly says if she's not here on time, he'll set sail without her. <laughs> what do I do, ma'am? It's funny. One wouldn't think you'd need a driver's license to spend two weeks under the Arctic ice. Passport or driver's license will do. Can you do whatever Mommy says, okay? Gotta keep track of that. Take care of mommy. You got your present? No, no, don't open it till it's home first. You want me to wait two weeks to open this? Yes, wait two weeks to open it. Get on. Hey, hey, let's go, man. Let's give that to my dad. Oh, I love you very much, doll. Mm, I love you. See you soon. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Don't touch it. I won't. Right, now this column. But now, you know, CD players have to be scanned by the communications officer for electrical interference. If this thing throws off a nanowatt of radio frequency, I'll join the Navy, okay? <sighs> Come on. What? You know what? Oh, give me a break, Harry. You know, everybody thinks the genius of the military is that they make bombs that fly into chimneys. You know what their real contribution is? Tell me. They've developed sucking up to be a higher art form than Renaissance painting. Oh. Look, look, look. It's the machine. Yes! Ah! Shit! Huh? Hello! I'll see you in a minute. Fix the thing. Hmm. Out in engineering. All right. Signal for departure. Mm -hmm. Depart side. You know, we've never had a woman on board the Portland for more than a day go. cruise. Right behind you there. Mm -hmm. Watch your head. Here? Yes, ma'am. We convert the empty racks to bunks. We're uh, pretty tight for space around here. But this is where the torpedoes sleep. <sighs> the enemy has torpedoes. We call ours units. You get used to it. Hey, Harry. Hello. I'm so sorry. It's all right. What happened? My research equipment got stuck at customs in Ecuador. Oh. I missed my first flight. Do you know Rick Posty? This is Laura Dyson. Rick's doing some last-minute work on the ice profiler. This is really rather exciting. I can't believe I'm here. Thrilling. 
He's a little phobic about being underwater. But I thought you designed the mini soap. I did, but I don't like going in it. And I'm not phobic, Harry. I'm just more evolved from our amphibious roots than you. Harry's got more turtle in him. <laughs> you might want to have a word with the captain about your quarters. He's an understanding kind of guy. Three six five loaded at my mark. I sir. Oh, and full safety, I sir. Maneuvering, con. Give me an estimated time when we'll be answering bells on the main engines. Con, maneuvering, estimated time, fifteen minutes, sir. Exile, station the maneuvering watch. Station the maneuvering watch, I sir. Miss Dyson. Sonar Glad you could make it. While we transport Dr. Reinhardt and Mr. Postley to their designated research area, we'll try to accommodate your whale watching. Actually, it's a little more technical than whale watching. Well, I'm sure you wouldn't be here unless you called it cetological recognition factors in subaqueous environments. The Navy is flexible. We just. <laughs> Exo, take us off shore phone, please. Aye, aye sir. I had to go with the captain. How's your ice profiler? Is Harry happy? Harry thinks he's going to win the Nobel Prize. Well, maybe he will. I studied under him for two years at Cambridge. He's quite brilliant. Not brilliant enough to calculate the mass of the polar ice cap. But brilliant enough to get you to do it. I don't want a minivan. You get one of those car seats and you strap it down in the back of the Camaro. Well, Lisa says it isn't safe. She wants one of those things with the kid seats built right in the back. <gasps> Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I don't feel very safe under here. Well, you know you're a lot safer standing two feet underneath the Mark 48 than you are driving on the freeway. As long as you don't get a quartz watch near one of these. Hey, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oxygen candles 12. Oxygen candles 12. Oxygen candles? Yes, inside you have sodium chlorate and barium peroxide, and when you mix the two together, they create oxygen. I read a lot. Excuse me, miss? Listen, if you'd like, I could probably scrape up an, an extra pillow from one of the guys. If... That would be lovely. Keep in the boat! Submerge the ship! Submerge the ship, aye sir. Diving officer, submerge the ship. Submerge the ship, aye sir. Open the main ballast tank vents. Sound the diving alarm. Dive, dive. Make your depth six zero feet. Six zero feet, aye sir. Make turns for ten knots. Ten knots, aye sir. Is that it? Hmm? We're underwater. Mm-hmm. You're disappointed. It's just so smooth. I was expecting more Disneyland. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Are you all right? I was sheltered this part. Rick. Fine. I'm fine. This is the captain. Gentlemen. As I'm sure you're all aware, we have three scientists aboard the Portland today. Navy has agreed to cooperate in their studies of global warming using a DSRV mini-sub. We bear the honor to be among the first of these cooperative missions. And while there may be a certain level of disruption to our regular routines, I expect every man on board to extend to them the utmost courtesy and cooperation. Thank you. That is all. Have a good tour, gentlemen.
Ground scope. Five knots. Aye, sir. Okay, can you guys see me all right? Does anybody have an $800 ashtray? What about a $1,000 toilet seat? <laughs> <laughs> If you're fishing, Mr. Postley, I'm not biting. We've got a low sink level on the mapping interface. You want to feed us a test loop and we'll see if we can adjust it? No problem, OL Capitan. Was that Spanish, Mr. Postley? The sonar chief asked if you'd come to the sonar room, sir. XO, take the con. Aye, sir. Please. Taking the con. We just picked him up. He's designated Sierra 7, sir. He's been holding a pretty steady 030 somewhere around 15 knots. So what is he? Working up the narrow band now, sir. Mostly what I'm hearing sounds like the propeller from the Nakula class. But we've got some anomalies. Take a look. See this spike at 215 hertz? Mm -hmm. I have good filter sets for cool hole numbers one through seven. None of them have this spike. What do you think? <sighs> Maybe a propeller imbalance. Maybe it's an uncatalogued boat. Does he know we're here? We are in his baffle, sir. XL, rig for ultra quiet. Sonar's found us a new Russian sub. Keep of the boat. Rig for ultra quiet. Rig for ultra quiet, aye, sir. Nav, get Mr. Postley out of that pod now. Aye, sir. Taking the con, XO. Aye, sir. Mr. Postley, Captain would like you to close up there and return to the con, please. Just a second. That would be now, Mr. Postley. <sighs> Sonar con, what have you got? Con, sonar. He's faded into the background noise, sir. We may have lost him. Right, five degrees rudder. Steady course, zero, four, five. Make turns for 15 knots. For 15 knots, aye, sir. Con, sonar, still a contact. New heading, zero, four, zero. Oh, shit. Con, sonar, he's turned. He's coming right at us, sir. Range is 1,000 yards and closing fast. Sonar, con. Engage active sonar. Con, sonar. Engaging active sonar. Aye, sir. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Aye, sir. Use us. Engage this area. What, uh, what seems to be the problem? Con, sonar. Range 500 yards coming straight at us, sir. The sonar pumped up? Max amplitude, sir. He definitely knows we're here. Keep the boat. Hold your course. I don't believe this. Con sonar range 400 yards, of course, 045, still closing, sir. Keep the boat. On my word, prepare for rightful rudder, all ahead flank. 300 yards, sir. Jesus Christ. Why are we driving right into him? 200 yards, sir. Sir, he's not turning. Wait for my command. 175. 150. 100. 75. 50. Come on, Sonar, he turned. He's off our starboard corner. He is behind us. Mr. Flick, do you have the appropriate salute queued up for the UQC? Con, sonar, aye aye, sir. Message is ready. <laughs> Very good, sir. Thank you, XO. So, Captain, do they know in the 
big white house that you play high-tech games of chicken with their boat? No. <laughs> but your game could have killed us all. <laughs> this is not a game, Dr. Reinhardt. Being clear and unambivalent about our power is how we guarantee our peace. I got an idea. Everybody knows the Russians need dollars. So how about our Navy buys up all their subs, 10 cents on the dollar? Then you guys can play this whole chicken game intramurally. You ought to put it on TV, make it pay-per-view. I'll suggest it. <laughs> I think what Rick is trying to say is that we've all sacrificed for a long time for the military. And maybe it's time to pay attention to other things. Isn't that why the three of us are here? You're here because the Secretary of the Navy thinks he can get Congress off his back if he throws a bone to the peacetime community. So then, what is your position on the current role of the military, Captain? I was first in my class at Annapolis. I don't want to get into a discussion of strategic theory with a civilian wearing an earring. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you've fallen behind the neo-pragmatists who worry about third world nuclear arsenals. Yes. I like Edward Lutvak's new book. Have you read it? I haven't. Ludwig's an economist. I hardly think he's relevant to military theory. I disagree. He's talking about a military-scale effort, but in education and technology. The generals would be the CEOs of corporations, and their subordinate officers would be the scientists. The battlefield is trade. Of course, submarines, they would take a back seat to machines of production and technology. But it is a changing world. Pretty interesting theory, huh? Could you pass the mashed potatoes, please? Code one through four. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give me a thing. Everybody in a hot tub. Mm. Put your panties in a pile. Everybody. Looked back. Come on, Harry. The guy had it coming to him. We're guests on the man's boat. <sighs> Behave. Just behave. I go to bed. It's a blue whale. You hear the loud rhythmical chirps? Blues bounce them off the bottom to get a sounding. She sounds more like Sea of Japan than a northern whale. She's got an accent? Mm -hmm. This is her. Southern whales have different regional inflections, just like people from your south have a drawl. It's true. Whales in the Atlantic, they speak a completely different language than Pacific whales. Wow. That's deep. five. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you couldn't hit shit with a shovel. <laughs> Bite me. <laughs> Nuke strike! <laughs> Mission accomplished. Man, you How are true. How old are you? Rick? Yeah. Can I come in? Yeah. I'll be out in a minute. If you don't mind, I don't mind. Sonar man seemed nice, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I'm not making you uncomfortable, am I? Me? No. Are you okay? Wow. Yeah, great. You know, it's so much smaller than I thought it was going to be. Excuse me? Up. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I thought so too. <clears throat> Why don't you come back later? Back later, I. Right. I'll watch the door. You know, I saw you once at an oceans conference in Seattle. You spoke about the effects of pollutants on gray whale migration patterns. You were the youngest person on the panel. You get around. Me? No. Wash your back? I don't think so. Turning on the profiler now. And how's this for a level? Down 10 dB would be good. Ow! Sonar's useless. Well, the profiler's about as subtle as a fart in a bathtub. Okay, how's this? That's better. Looks fine. Great. go to what you can take my place what do you say Harry uh, well, I, I, uh... come on Harry I've been dreaming about this since we met <laughs> I don't know it is a three-person vehicle she knows how to use a camera and you know that my pictures are always out of focus well, that's true uh, uh... oh all, all right all right but I do believe there is a test, isn't that correct, Harry? Oh, yes, a very severe test, yes. Name three under ice amphipods. Onesimus littoralis. <gasps> Gamamorus wilkitskii. Aphorusa glacialis. What else? Uh, oh, do you have a question? As a matter of fact, I do. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Well, Why do fools fall in love? <laughs> Nav, this is Marvin. The filter should be centered for a depth of 105 feet. Use 0700 as a start marker. Okay, 105 feet, 0700. That should be fine. Check your video feed for me. We're getting some glitches here on our screen. That's better. Cool. Look, look at that, look at that, look at the size of that keel. The ice. See it? Must be a hundred feet. 
And it's shaped like your nose. And it's twice as big. I'm, I'm naming it the Reinhardt Keel. You're naming your nose the Reinhardt Keel? No, no, no. My nose is called Gerald. Go and look. Go out the window. You'll see it. It'll be passing on the right. Go look. Okie Nav, this is Marvin. I'm going to shut down the profiler now for a second to make a final adjustment, then we'll try our first run. Marvin, Nav, roger that. <sighs> Captain, this is Sonar. We have something happening here, sir. Sonar, this is the con. What do you got? I'm picking up that Akula again, sir. Give me bearing. Working on Barry now, but we're fighting echoes from the Marvin's profiler. XO, take the con. Taking the con, I, sir. Dr. Reinhardt, this is the captain. Do not turn on your profiler. Huh? Repeat, do not turn on your profiler. Yes, Captain, we'll keep it off. I, sir. I want you to reel in your tether and return to the ship now. What's he on about? I don't know. Do you think this is a result of that little speech you made at dinner last night? God. What? Jesus Christ. Captain, he's coming this way. Sonar, go active. Now! Act the sonar gate, sir. This is Marvin. Can you hear me? Laura, you right? Give me a status and damage report. Right. Going down, sir. 210. Enter room, Khan. Give me a damage report. Khan, maneuvering. Reactor is down. Switching to emergency batteries. 220. I want 150. Get us up to 150. I, I can't, sir. Ten second blow forward and out the groups. Negative that. Forward ballast valves are not responding. Blow emergency. Blow emergency. Aye. 300. 310. 320. Where's the submersible? Nav, where are they? I lost telemetry with them, sir. What column? Marvin, Nav. Marvin, are you there? Nothing, sir. Still attached? I can't tell, sir. Four hundred. Four hundred twenty. All ahead, one third. All ahead, one third. Ship the boat. Mr. Murphy, all ahead, one third, sir. All ahead, one third, aye, sir. Man your station. What about the submersible, sir? It's still attached. They'll have to hang on. <laughs> All power to auxiliary electric systems. 850! Now, this is Marvin. Can you hear me? The winch is champed. Commence emergency startup. Ahead, flank. 
Not responding, sir. Still descending five feet per second. Sir, we have no forward motion. Now, this is Marvin. Can you hear me? Anyone? Drive up, Harry. Break the tether. We're up to 30 feet of ice. Where are we going to go? We're going down. Drive up! Sending 12 feet per second. Yeah. What's the floor depth? Below crush depth, sir. Think up, everyone. Think up. Um, go. Now this is Marvin. Can you hear me? Great. Damn it! Con. Maneuvering. Con. Mr. Hayes, respond. Mr. Hayes. Anyone? Keto, can you me? Poisonous gas! Get out! Is everyone all right? Yes. You? I think so. The soul travels. The body does not travel as much as the soul. The body has just as much work as the soul. And at last... Uh, Rick, we need you to help here. The soul, stately, solemnly sad, baffled, withdrawn, mad. Rick. All right. We need power, Rick. Huh? Are we on the bottom? I think so. Great. Let's do our systems check. Good, good, good. Glad I designed this thing for 2,500 feet. I'm quite pleased myself. Subs is only fifteen hundred feet. Sir, fire in the engine room. Can we contain it? We need your help, sir. After processing room, everyone, all the way back. Go! <laughs> Do you think we can dock? The hatch could be broken. The sub could be full of water. If the collar's damaged, then we can't dock anyway. I wonder if we could break the tether and get out. What about all those men? We have a fire! I got you covered. I'm back in the yard. On your left. Get out! 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 Get out!
There could be 900 pounds per square inch of seawater on the other side of this. Well, then let's open it very carefully. that's good for you that smells like peaches that isn't peaches. We should use the rebreathers. Good idea. not doing too good, sir. It uh, looks like he's got a collapsed lung here. Good work, Holiday. Thank you, sir. Conduct a roll call, please, Mr. Melgis. Out of the way, sir. Chief of the boat. Sir. Send two men to get as many oxygen candles as they can find. Aye, sir. Who is it? It's Miller. Look! What? We have to recirculate the air! Oh, God. Go, go!
What's that? Shit. We need power. Rick, hey, look. There you are. about those mats. <laughs> At least we're not radioactive. Where is the reactor? It's on the other side of that. Figuring 21 cubic feet <coughs> per hour times 48 men. <laughs> Rough numbers are three hours on the cylinders, another hour on the candles. I've tried all the intercom stations, sir. Most of the lines must be cut. Sir? Yes, Lieutenant? I think I know what happened. The Russian thought that Marvin Sonar was the Portland. I mean, they must have thought they were driving underneath us. They hit us by accident. I think you're right, Mr. Fleck. Carry on. Aye, right, sir. Even if we had a torch to cut through and get to that door, we couldn't without starting a fire. Shh. What? I heard something back here. Look, besides this junkyard, there's a nuclear reactor with 20 tons of lead between us and the back of the boat. I mean, subs are designed so that sound won't travel. Is the hull being crushed? I can distinguish sounds, Harry. It had a rhythm. What we have to do is put a radio and as much oxygen as we can onto Marvin. Then we have to break the tether, find a hole in the ice, send a distress signal, then wait for help from Point Barra. How are we going to get through the ice, Harry? Hold our breath and wait for global warming? I know ice. I'll find a hole. I'm the light. You'll never get past the reactor. Hey! Be careful. You'll never get past the reactor. Besides, the ventilation system is knocked out. Laura! I'm okay!
Can you reach my hand? Reach! Uh. Are you all right? I thought I told you to be careful. Hello, can anybody hear us? Hello, can anybody hear us? If you're back there, fellas, give us a shout. We're in the control room. Shit. Can anybody hear us? Damn it. I don't know, Harry. There's got to be a break in the line somewhere. Oh, listen, I, I, I'm going to get Marvin ready. And this They're is alive, the... Harry. I hope you're right. And I hope we can help them. They can help us. Help us? How? Help us get the sub going. Oh. I'd rather bet on that than going up in Marvin. Oh, I... What do you think? I think one person should go. What? If three people go, there's only two hours of oxygen. One person goes, there's six hours. Go, find a hole, send up a signal, come back to the sub and ferry out the others. No, no, Marvin doesn't have any navigation gear. Once you're on the surface, you never find your way back to the sub. I'll put navigation gear on from this sub, okay? okay terrific, and I'll learn three-dimensional navigation in five minutes. What if there's not enough air to get back to Just the sub? Just let me worry For about God's Marvin, sake, okay, Harry? Shut up! Lord, there's too much that we don't know. We don't know if they're alive. We don't know if they got a mayday call away. We don't know how much air is left. We don't know whether this hull will crush in three hours or 30 seconds from now. But we have to make sure that someone up there knows that this sub is down. You're the only one that knows ice, Harry. If anybody can get through, it's you. over my mind. I couldn't pull a boat up. I couldn't save anybody. There's nothing you could have done. Hey. <coughs> it's not your fault. We're all in this together. I rigged a microphone up to the profiler, so when you break the tether, we can hear you, but you can't hear us, so just keep talking. Terrific. Right. Let's get on with it. Come on. Come on. Good luck, Dr. Reinhardt. <laughs> Dr. Reinhardt. My God, that came from a long way back. <laughs> go on. Harry, I really miss my MTV. Well, I'll try and get you back to it. Go! Go! up making the first run now. Tether. Right 
hydrophone gears in the sonar room. Let's go. We're free. We're free. Going up. Ladies underwear, lingerie. It would help if I had some idea what I was doing here. There, is that Harry? I think so. Now, if I can get lightning to strike, we can pick him up on the sonar. Oh, yeah. Where the hell that is. I just trying to find a good little lead here. Now, you look nice. Where will you take me if I follow you? Do you know where the sun is shining? You? No, no, no. I don't want to see 18 feet. Now I want to see 15 feet. Damn. I trusted you. I trusted you. Little rat. I'll start heading south. Come on, come on. His voice is gone. But I'm still picking him up on that background signal. What do you think we should do? All we can do is wait. How are you doing, Mr. Flack? Fine, Captain. What was that about the soul traveling that you were mumbling when we were sitting in the dark? And you did it when we first went underwater. Forget it. Do you quote any poet or just Walt Whitman when you're nervous? Just Whitman. Okay. I'm sorry. You don't think we're going to make it, do you? Give me your hand. Please. Give me your hand. There's nothing to worry about. What does it say? Well, it says here that you are going to have a romantic stay in a luxurious hotel with, wow, a very mysterious man. Tell me more about this man. I can't. That's classified. Is that light? Toad array. Oh, it's an instrument cable that they drag behind the boat. Stopped. Wait a minute, it's Morse code. What? SOS. Someone is sending us a signal. Laura, that could mean anything with the sub in this condition. Look, it's changed. You may be right. What's it say now? We need to find our code book. Uh, 
if you can hear me, I'm uh, about a mile, a mile southwest, south, <coughs> southwest, uh, but it's getting thicker. So, what is going on here? Oh, God. 48 men okay, respond. Same line 12V0615. They want to return message on the same line. 12 volts at 615. Okay. Come on, come on. There's something wrong here. We're all set. How much time do we have? Ten minutes from now. I don't know if you can hear me, but. I'm coming back. I'm sorry, but I've got to come back. I didn't want to talk too much because the, the air's thin. There's something wrong with the regulator. Um, I'm at 800 feet uh, and I'm coming down. something on the window frame. Well, it just, um, condensation. That's not condensation, Harry. Take it back up. The thing is, the southwest is no good. Um, so I think our best bet would be to go due north. Go up! Take it back up! I'll find you yet. It's not condensation, Harry! Take it back up! He doesn't know Marvin like I do. If possible, find phone line and connect. It's a good idea. Can you wire it in? Yes, sir. Hello. Captain. This is Kirsch. What's your status? Marvin's gone. Along with Harry, in it. There's just the two of them. The hippie and the ditz. Let's put the batteries on the central bus and filter the air. Not bad. Kirsch, Kirsch. Oh, no, come on, buddy. Look, you gotta, you gotta wear this thing. This... This will help you breathe. You need to wear this. Good. Listen up. We've depleted all our bottled air supplies. I want to put the XO on to talk to you. How are you doing, Rick? I'm having a little trouble with 13 across. Eight liter word. For a million friggin' tons of water hanging over me. <laughs> that would be pressure, Rick. What are you doing for power? 
I connected up two of those big 48-volt batteries directly into the instrument and control bus. The ones that are two feet by two feet or the ones that are about four feet by four feet? Four by four. That was very clever. The only problem is that you're draining the power we need to start up the reactor. I'm going to need some readings from the con. Okay. Just uh, give me a minute to connect up another phone line. Okay, I got 260 volts on bank number one, and on bank number two, I got a reading of 63 volts. Captain, if we use a high voltage cutout, we might get enough power to the reactor to get it online. Let's make that happen. There's no breaker on that line. It's all we've got. All right, Rick, here's what we need. There's a large switch box down by the batteries that bypasses the main circuits. We need to switch it in. No problem. There's a potential problem. It carries 700 amps. If this is short in the reactor circuit, the box could arc. Great, I could blow up like a landmine. It's our best shot, Rick. We're getting a little critical on this end. Just you and Hayes suit up, go to maneuvering. Chief of the boat? Sir. Get on the line and talk him through it. Tell him that I think he has power to the maneuvering room. Rick thinks you have power to the maneuvering room. Okay, good. Now, Laura, the handles on the left are stern planes. The ones on the right are rudders and mid planes. They're the ones that make the ship go up and down. The one on the right is rudder and mid planes. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. It makes the sub go up and down. I told you, I read a lot. There's no override. There's our problem. The reactor's leaking. Dear God. We have a primary cooling leak in the reactor room. Hayes is trying to assess if it's fixable. I won't send anyone in there. It wouldn't last three minutes. Rick, you're going to have to drive it up on electric auxiliary motor. You have a lot less power to work with, but I know you can do it. We've just got a few minutes of air left here. So we're counting on you. We're going to try to drive the boat up on its electrical power. Why can't they fix the reactor? I don't know why. Hey, we can do this together. It's going to get kind of rough, so be ready. We're moving. Keep it steady. Okay, now pull back just a little. Come on. Four knots. It says four knots. Hang on. Pull back a little more. Slow me down. Pull back more. Working. They gotta power up the reactor. It's our only chance. Laura? Rick? Laura? 
We gotta blow the balance and upright the boat. What do you need, Mr. Abbott? Get back to your station. We gotta get out. Mr. Abbott, get back to your station. Hey, hey, get back to your station. My station is hey, get back. What the hell are you doing? Hey. Hey, look at me. What are you doing? Look at me, son. Settle down. Settle down! the others. Come on. Nab. Good week. Keep breathing. Get some air. Get some air. Some oxygen over here. Come on, buddy. It's gonna be okay. Mr. Melchus. Will you come with me, please? Yes, sir. I can't steer the boat if it's not upright. I'm gonna go see if I can pump some air into the starboard ballast tanks. Well, where are you going? The torpedo room. If I can get to the manual controls and move enough air to the ballast tanks, maybe it'll right the boat. What about the gas fumes? He'll need a rebreather. Thanks. Listen. If they power up again, you're gonna have to be ready to steer. I can do that. Rick. Careful. What's your assessment, Mr. Hayes? It's not fixable from out here. We have to go in. He's just not worth it. We're on our side. They're never going to turn the boat up right. They'll have to. That's all there is to it. What do we need for startup? Shut the charging isolation line and open up the bypass valve. Put on the radiation suits. So if it's all the same to you, uh, I'd rather not. It'll just prolong the inevitable. Those suits are to protect you in this room when I go in. The key, please, Mr. Melchus. Sir, I... I can't let you do that. That's not an option. The key. John. I think so. I gave you a direct order. The key. a mask. So I'll try to relax. 
Concentrate on not breathing too hard. Okay? feet. We're going up. Don't ask. How does it go north? Turn on the under-eye sonar. 
There's a panel above your head with a red switch. Flip it up. Now turn the search angle knob to 15 degrees. Then the range knob to 0.5 miles. <clears throat> when the line dips, that means that there's a pressure ridge sticking down. What do you see? Is it smooth? No, it's not smooth. There's a whole bunch of ridges. We need smooth. Can we do this? Yes. The sail on top, it's armored. What do you see now? No. Wait, here's something. Off to this next ridge. It's smooth. Okay. Here we go. Hang on. Breached. I don't know. We have to keep trying. Keep looking. We need to find another flat section. You hear that? Go ahead, whales. I need to come up for air. They could lead us to a thin spot in the ice. We gotta follow them. Which way are they headed? Give me some coordinates. Hurry up. Bear left 250 degrees. 250. Aye. There's at least three of them. They're turning. Go left another 10 degrees. them. Can't this thing go any faster? I'm trying. There's the thin ice. Dead ahead. 500 yards. 400. 300. Get ready to pull back hard. Okay, ready?
send up an emergency signal. Don't worry. Can it make reservations for us at the Ritz? Maybe. Feel like it's wash your back this time?
my